Korea's second largest shipping line has finally settled on a debt restructuring agreement with its bondholders. Now, this comes after it made significant progress in negotiations with ship owners to cut leasing rates for its charter ships. Our Kim Jong Soo brings us up to speed on the much needed turnaround for Hyundai Merchant Marine. Hyundai Merchant Marine and its major creditors have successfully agreed on an initial series of debt recast negotiations on Tuesday worth around 530 million U.S. dollars. The total debt obligations under review amount to $670 million. Two more settlements are set to take place Wednesday morning. The initial agreement, which was finalized at the Hyundai Group headquarters in Seoul, specifies that 50 percent of outstanding debt obligations will be transferred to stocks. The other half will be paid off over the span of three years, starting from 2018. A direct victim of the downturn in the industry and China's sluggish economy, Hyundai Merchant has been struggling to fight off liquidity problems. But when issues peaked last year, the firm applied for a voluntary workout and joint management program with creditors in March. Korea's number two shipper is floundering as it's roughly $4.4 billion in debt with major obligations coming from shipping finances, corporate bonds, and bank loans. Last year, it posted revenues of $5 billion with an operating loss of over $210 million. Investors say that the company and its creditors reached a mutual agreement because they thought it was a much more preferable outcome compared to court receivership. Officials from Hyundai Merchant Marine said that the significant progress made in leasing fee negotiations with foreign ship owners on Monday left a positive impression on its creditors. However, the shipper still faces hurdles ahead, including successfully joining a new industry alliance spearheaded by Hanjin Shipping. Kim Jong-soo, Arirang News.